Once upon a time, in a lush green forest, there lived a snail named Kale. Kale was a typical snail, moving slowly, leaving a trail of mucus wherever it went. Kale often felt left out in the world because it seemed like everyone else was moving so much faster than he was. The birds flew overhead, the squirrels scampered up trees, and even the ants moved faster than Kale. One day, while moving along a particularly green and juicy leaf, Kale suddenly stopped. He realized that he had been so focused on moving quickly that he had forgotten to enjoy the journey. He looked around and noticed the beauty of the forest, the colors of the flowers, and the sweet fragrance of the air. Kale decided to slow down and take the time to enjoy his surroundings. He took in the beauty of the forest, and in doing so, he discovered a sense of inner peace. No longer did he feel the need to rush. Instead, he savored each moment, enjoying the journey as much as the destination. As Kale continued on his journey, he began to notice that the other creatures in the forest were no longer moving so quickly. They, too, had slowed down, taking time to appreciate the beauty around them. The birds would stop to sing a tune, the squirrels would stop to nibble on an acorn, and even the ants seemed to be moving slower. Kale realized that his decision to slow down and appreciate the journey had not only brought him inner peace but it also influenced those around him. He felt a sense of pride in knowing that his actions had positively impacted those around him. One day, as Kale was admiring a particularly beautiful flower, a butterfly landed on his shell. The butterfly spoke to him in a soft voice and asked, Kale, why are you so happy? Kale thought for a moment and replied, I have discovered the true meaning of life. It is not about how fast we move or how much we achieve. It is about enjoying the journey, taking time to appreciate the beauty around us, and positively impacting those around us. The butterfly smiled and said, Kale, you are wise beyond your years. I have flown all over this forest, and I have never met a snail as enlightened as you. From that day forward, Kale continued to live his life slowly, taking time to enjoy the journey, appreciate the beauty around him, and positively impact those around him. He found a sense of purpose in his life, and he knew that he was making a difference in the world. In the end, Kale had lived a long and fulfilling life. As he lay in his shell, reflecting on his journey, he realized that he had discovered something far more valuable than any treasure or accomplishment. He had found inner peace and the true meaning of life. Kale was always fascinated by the mysteries of the universe and had a deep desire to understand the nature of reality. He had heard of the ancient hermetic tradition in the art of alchemy, which was said to hold the secrets of the universe. Kale was determined to learn the art of alchemy and use it to become one with the universe. He began to study the Hermetic tradition, reading ancient texts and practicing the principles of alchemy. He learned about the four elements of nature, earth, air, fire, and water, and how to manipulate them to create powerful energies. He also discovered the principles of transmutation, the ability to change one substance into another. Kale practiced diligently, experimenting with different combinations of elements and observing their effects. As he delved deeper into the art of alchemy, he began to feel a powerful energy within himself. He realized that he was becoming one with the universe and that he had the power to shape reality according to his will. One day, while practicing his alchemy, Kale noticed a group of animals in distress. They were struggling to find food and water, and they looked weak and exhausted. Kale knew that he had the power to help them. He focused his energy and used his alchemical skills to create a potion that would restore their strength and vitality. The animals drank the potion, and almost immediately, they began to feel better. They were amazed by the power of Kale's alchemy and asked him to teach them his ways. Kale agreed, and he began to teach the animals the principles of alchemy and energy manipulation. Together, Kale and the animals used their powers to heal the forest restoring balance and harmony to the natural world. They also discovered a profound sense of unity and oneness with the universe. 
Kale realized that he had achieved his goal of becoming one with the universe, not through dark magic or godhood, but through the principles of the hermetic tradition in the power of alchemy. He had learned that true power came not from domination or control, but from harmony and balance with nature. From that day forward, Kale dedicated his life to sharing the principles of alchemy and energy manipulation with all those who were willing to learn. He became a wise teacher and mentor, helping others to discover the power of oneness with the universe and the secrets of the hermetic tradition. Kale's powers grew stronger with each passing day. He could manipulate the elements, control the flow of energy, and even levitate objects with his mind. The other creatures in the forest were amazed by his abilities and came to him for help whenever they needed it. But with great power came great responsibility. Kale knew that he had to use his powers wisely and not succumb to the temptations of darkness. He continued to study the teachings of the Hermetic tradition and learned how to maintain balance and harmony in his life. As he delved deeper into the mysteries of the universe, Kale discovered that he was becoming one with everything around him. He could feel the energy of the forest flowing through him, and he knew that he was no longer just a snail but a part of the cosmos. Kale's journey had led him to a realization that he was not just an individual entity, but a part of a greater whole. He had achieved a state of oneness with the universe, and he felt at peace with himself and the world around him. In the end, Kale had become a wise and powerful creature, admired and respected by all. He had unlocked the secrets of the universe, achieved godhood through the hermetic tradition, and become one with the cosmos. And he knew that his journey had only just begun. With his newfound knowledge of alchemy and energy manipulation, Kale transformed himself into an ethereal being. He glowed with a bright light, and his energy filled the air around him. The humans were amazed by the transformation of the snail, and they could feel his healing energy flowing through them. They felt their bodies becoming lighter, and their spirits becoming stronger. Kale's power was not limited to physical healing. He also had the ability to heal emotional wounds and mend broken hearts. He radiated love and compassion, and the humans could feel his energy filling them with hope and happiness. As Kale continued to heal the humans, his power grew stronger. He could heal entire villages with just a touch, and his energy spread across the land, bringing peace and harmony wherever it went. But with great power came great responsibility. Kale knew that he had to use his powers wisely and not succumb to the temptations of darkness. He continued to study the teachings of the Hermetic tradition and learned how to maintain balance and harmony in his life. Thank <laughs> you.